Hello everyone, thanks for today. Today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to level up fast in Season 2. In case you've been living under a rock, there's a new season and uh, Halo. And that with new, the new season, there's also the new rewards. All Halo CE stuff. Which was kind of weird. I was like, at first impression, I was like, okay, this is cool. But like, OG Halo never had customization. That kind of That's kind of what made it special. But at the same time, I think this is something that we can enjoy. Get to enjoy and uh, compete for and get a lot of new unlockables. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please feel free to like, subscribe. I really appreciate all the support. So let's get into it. If you haven't noticed, there's a new challenge up. Now, I've noticed things about these challenges is that like they'll give you like 15, 25,000 XP, which is something that's really good to get uh, to give your XP a little bit of a boost on top of what you've already done in the game. So as you see, I've already got a few completed. Some are very easy give me ones. And there's also uh, weekly PVE for like firefight. And there's also seasonal challenges that you can unlock. Those are great for getting additional XP, but I wouldn't say that's the main focus of where you get a lot of your XP. A lot of your XP comes down to your social games. Uh, as you could tell, if you haven't noticed yet, Halo 3 is awful at getting medals. Uh, so these are the games types I usually select, Halo, Reach, Halo CE, Halo 2, even Halo 4, but I hate Halo 4 with a burning passion, so that's why I don't select it. Uh, this is how you can get a lot of XP, usually I do Precision Slayer, or if you're really good at Slayer, uh, Flag or Capture, but, f but even the best of all uh, is SWAT, because you can get those multi-kill medals if you have a decent aim. And honestly, you'll just tear people up if you have a good aim and it's social. So people that play social typically aren't the best. Uh, not saying that social is bad, but I'm just saying usually people in social, you know, you can get people that have played before and people that haven't. And if you have a whole lobby of people that haven't played before, really easy to get a lot of multi kills. Also, another way to get a lot of XP is firefight. And this is the way you can also get challenges unlocked. So I'd recommend if you uh, guys want to try running firefight, you can get a ton of XP that way as well. Anyways, guys, I'm going to show you a quick SWAT clip just to show you the potential for the amount of XP you can get in multi-kill medals. So SWAT is not necessarily the best game type for objective-based, like teamwork medals. However, it's amazing for individual performance because you can rack up those multi-kills. Usually even in if I'm running Halo 3 SWAT, I can always usually max the performance. Uh, due to my performance and then in the game itself with multi kills, killing sprees, etc. Uh, but if you want to make to guarantee you get a lot of XP and you're not necessarily the best at Halo, then I'd recommend uh, running Reach Halo 2 Anniversary where you can get assist medals and other strange medals that aren't necessarily in uh, Halo, Halo 3. So I'm just running Halo 3 because I enjoy it. So that's just my personal preference. But Anyways, as you can see, right off the bat, within 30 seconds, I already have three kills, four kills. Uh, it's really easy to rack up the kills and even get killing sprees, etc. just by people not paying attention. Just like that, killing spree within 30 seconds.